Today we're going to look at how to change the overload trip setting on the new Contactron 4-in-1 motor starter. There are 16 current settings for this device. A chart on the side of the 4-in-1 shows these values. As you can see, different combinations of LEDs correspond to different current values. Instructions for changing the current setting are shown on this side of the device as well. First, make sure the 4-in-1 has control power going to it. Next, lift the clear plastic cover. Now, hold the reset button in for at least 6 seconds to begin the overload adjustment. If you don't push the reset button in first, you can turn the adjustment dial, but you won't actually change the overload trip setting. As you turn the adjustment dial, you will see different LEDs becoming illuminated. As you can see, the change in the dial position affects the illumination of the LEDs, and the change in the way the LEDs are illuminated confirms the new setting. The adjustment dial has several markings on it to give you an approximate idea of the set points. Once you are satisfied with your new overload setting, push the reset button one more time to finalize the setting. The new setting is now in the non-volatile state of the 4-in-1. Now you know how to adjust the overload trip setting on the Contactron 4-in-1 motor starter.